Um, so at my school, I'm in a photo one class, and we are having a project called Road Trip Nation, where we interview people about their path in life and. Um, Oh, it just, <laughs> no, just anyone, I guess, who <laughs> knows their path. <laughs> um, so, oh, okay, I was wondering if um, you were free for this interview on Sunday? Oh, this Sunday. Yeah. Really? <laughs> um, would 2 p.m. work for you? Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. On Sunday, yes. Okay, bye, thank you. Hi, my name is Miranda Mora. I'm a sophomore at Lacanada High School, and I'm really interested in interviewing Robert Parker because I want to know what it's like to find your own journey and like your path in life to be successful in your own life. Hi, I'm Caroline Cyclone, and I'm a sophomore at Lacanada High School. We're doing this interview because we want to see what we want to be when we're older. I'm not quite sure what I want to be when I'm older, but the guy we're interviewing is an astronaut and it kind of shows me that you shouldn't, you can dream big because you can be whatever you want at this age. Hi, I'm Lisa Menikov. I am a junior at La Pinata High School. Um, I'm really interested in interviewing um, Robert Parker, who's an astronaut, because I want to learn how he overcame certain like struggles in his life and how he really still went back on to his path um, and like really pursued his passion. Hi, my name is Emily Hoffman. I'm in 10th grade and I go to LCHS. Um, I'm really excited that we're going to be interviewing an astronaut because it's a really interesting career and I think he can inspire me to maybe figure out what I want to do later in life. We're on our way! <laughs> Woo! Okay, now you you're set. Climbing, I'm sorry. <laughs> they pointed at me in like tomorrow. <laughs> Should we, should we not? Wait, do you know for sure that he's home? No. Guys, let's just do it. Come on. What are the feelings right now? Excited. A little nervous because I don't want to screw up, but. I'm not at a murder or so. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for letting us come into your home and sure. interview you. Okay. So, um, well, I'm Lisa, or yeah. Lisa. Wait. This is Caroline, this is Emily, and this is Miranda. Nice to meet you. Okay. And we're all students at La Cañada mm -hmm. High School. And so for our um, project, we have to um, make a video about uh, interviewing people and their okay. path in life. And so... Uh, we all felt that it would be really exciting to interview someone who is an astronaut okay. because that is a really great occupation. Um, so I guess to start off, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> when did you know that you wanted to do something pertaining to like astro astronomy and astronomy physics? Okay, way back when. Mm -hmm. Way back when, but like when I was your age. Oh, really? I was interested in becoming an astronomer. Oh, okay. Yeah. My father's a physicist, mm -hmm. and uh, well, that sort of came with the family, if you will. He taught physics. Yeah. Back in New England, and so I knew I wanted. To, yeah, it was an interesting thing to do. So you and knew you knew that that's what you always wanted to do is then the science field. No, I mean I always wanted to be a teacher. Oh, really? And so I and so I was at the at the time. I had, after I left Caltech and went to the, to the University of Wisconsin, I was a teacher. I taught astronomy classes to undergraduates and graduate students, and for about five, I guess about four or five years, before this opportunity came, and I said, you know, that's, that's, that was pretty exciting. Did you ever wonder what you missed um, when you gave up being a teacher? Um, 
I think I know enough about having been through that for, for four or five years and having my father having been a physics teacher. And my twin brother um, retires this year from oh. teaching physics at Yale. Oh wow! So it's all so I'm, so, so I'm I'm pretty well aware of what teachers do. <laughs> so you got to have your cake and eat it too. For you. Uh, essentially, that's yes, right. And I would also one of the things that we got to do was go around and talk to people about what we we're doing in space. So I'm still I'm still teaching. <laughs> yeah. Some people would say some people not not my brothers or or, or fathers of the six, et cetera, would say you know what do you want to do that for? Was there ever a point in time where you weren't sure, like, whether to do what you did, like, uh, you weren't sure about pursuing that career? I don't think so. I don't think this was. Hey, this is a this is because first of all, the first thing was, as I say, this is the most exciting thing going on in the world. You guys have. Uh, is there something exciting in the world today that really attracts everybody? go off and, and do for a career. I don't think like the space race yeah, during I mean, that, that, the yeah. 60s and 70s, that yeah, was... I mean, going intense. to the moon. Yeah. Going to the moon. And, you know, and I never went to the moon, but I knew people, very close friends, who went to the moon. And I taught, it was in mission control, you know, they mm -hmm. all the computers and people. I was in mission control talking to people on two missions. Were you, uh, were you scared? No. <laughs> So when you were in the spaceship and you were in space, you weren't you weren't like scared. Yeah. Did you ever have a moment, like I don't know, a really specific moment where you knew exactly like this is what I have done with my life and this is like what has made me happy? <clears throat> I, I would say that I've had. I guess one answer is you know. I've had lots of times like that. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Lots of times like that. Um, the, uh, but I don't think there was any one aha moment that mm -hmm. said, "Yeah, hey, this is it." Yeah. It was um, when you were younger, did you ever find yourself in being an astronaut? Like, did you ever think about? No, I mean, because when I was your age, oh, yeah. there was no such thing as an astronaut. <laughs> there really was. I mean, there was Buck Rogers, which was a comic strip. Oh. Was, you, know, you know, like, yeah, and, uh, but no, that wasn't, that wasn't even an option. Uh, and so... So, overall, would you say to not go looking for your passion, but let your passion find you, like, astronomy found you? Um, yeah, but you can't be totally passive about it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a two-way street. If you have some pretty good idea, that's clear, okay, go do that really know whether you're interested or not. If you have a lot of sort of, well, okay, maybe, then uh, you try a couple or see what's going on, and then you find out whether you're interested or not. But that's, that really is what growing up is all about. Yeah. Finding out what you really are interested in doing in your life. And you learn all about lots of, lots of the world. Thank you so much for letting us interview you. Was... Now, who's going to edit this all? We just finished our interview um, with Robert Parker, the astronaut, <coughs> and um, I feel like I actually, it really helped me because sometimes I feel like maybe if I know what I want to do, I might be too scared that that's not what I'm going to want to do my entire life, but he really like pretty much knew what he wanted to do his entire life, so that kind of, I guess, gave me confidence. Um, I found his story really interesting and how he knew, like, once he found something he was interested in, he was like, I'm going to go for it. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I just thought he was really inspiring because he took his love of science and went crazy with it. I mean, he went turned into an astronaut, and I hope I find something like that in my life. I thought he was really interesting. I mean, it's pretty cool how he became an astronaut. Not many people become astronauts, so it kind of shows you that you can dream big and achieve whatever you want.
picking peaches. Uh, it's a very interesting thing to do. 